हाय आई एम प्रोफेसर सत्ताज तबसुम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ इंडिया टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस बायोनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एज इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फंक्शन ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन एंड सब टॉपिक फॉर ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट मैकेनिज्म बायोनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इफ यू विल डिफाइन यू कैन सी यू नो दैट ऑल मेटल आइन प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल in our biological system the interface of inorganic chemistry and biology is called bioinorganic chemistry we discuss here the role of iron metal ion in respiration which involve basic principle of coordination chemistry and hybridization of central metal ion central metal ion in biological system have two type of function either it will change its coordination number or change in metal oxidation state and these two phenomena are continuously involved in bioinorganic chemistry if you will see the structure of and function of hemoglobin hemoglobin may be considered as tetramer of myoglobin contains four heme groups bound to four protein chains two of the chains have 146 amino acids beta and are similar to myoglobin and other myoglobin is a unit of hemoglobin and other two alpha have 140 amino acids each sub unit comprises of a porphyrin complex heme which contain iron 2 in the center the fe2 atom is bound to four pyrrole nitrogen atom and fifth coordination occupied by nitrogen atom of an imidazole of histidine and six coordination sites is occupied by molecular oxygen here you can see the iron is at the center and you have a very rigid and stable systems there are picket fence around the this porphyrin the hemoglobin and myoglobin exhibit different o2 binding behavior myoglobin is a monomer while hemoglobin is a tetrameric molecules which accounts for higher binding affinity for o2 molecules the reactions are as follows lungs in gill hemoglobin plus o2 it gives oxyhemoglobin and after that it goes to tissue where you have hemoglobin 4 and 4 myoglobin it transfer this total oxygen to myoglobin unit this is the process here we can calculate the constant for this binding each hemoglobin have alpha chains and two beta chains each with a heme complex near the center and each hemoglobin molecule can complex with four o2 molecules look at this here you can see this is one plate you can see the hemoglobin in it myoglobin second myoglobin and here also you can see this is the third and fourth so means these arrange in a fashion where you can say beta 1 beta 2 alpha 1 and alpha 2 here and oxygen molecules are associated and just you can say this mean four iron atoms are present in one hemoglobin unit the equilibrium constant for hemoglobin oxy form is complicated at 26 point exponent hill constant for dioxygen reserves the fact that the single hemoglobin molecule can accept four dioxygen molecule and binding of the four is not independent it is the cooperativity of the four heme group that produce the sigmoid curve this effect is called cooperativity cooperativity effect the presence of several bound dioxygen molecules favor the addition of more dioxygen molecule and the net result is that at low dioxygen concentration hemoglobin is less oxygenated and tends to release o2 in muscles this is the process when it is coming from lungs and it is going to muscles and it will produce it will release the oxygen at high dioxygen concentration hemoglobin is oxygenated to the same extent as if the exponent were one this this results in the sigmoid curve for oxygenation hemoglobin is oxygenated to same extent as in the exponent 
the results in a sigmoid curve for oxygenation of hemoglobin this effect favor oxygen transport since it helps the hemoglobin become saturated in lungs and dioxygenated in the capillaries here you can see there are two stages in the model here iron converted to iron 2 to iron 3 ophelin ring becomes more planar and lengthening of the iron and nitrogen cysteine bond anchoring heme you know what is happening when it is coordinated and now and coordinated with oxygen and free from oxygen there is a change in hybridization state a spin pairing is occurring here you can see it is equivalent to four unpaired electrons and here we have one unpaired electron in both the case the low spin so just when it is bonded form you can see the low spin so it is easy to distinguish between the bonded and non bonded hemoglobin binding of oxygen arrange the electronic distribution alter the d orbital this cause difference in the absorption spectra blue is for deoxy hemoglobin and red is for oxy hemoglobin measuring of the absorption at 578 allows the easy method to determine the presence of oxygen bound to hemoglobin you can see this is the basic difference between the bonded and non bonded hemoglobin variety this, this is a Porsche mechanism. It is a very famous model by, given by the Porsche. Here you can see there is a one end just like when is a uh, bonded uh, stick with this spring and this is known as tension state, T state transmitted by the histidine or protein helix and another is a resting R state transmitted to the histidine protein and this is bonded to the hemoglobin this is the simple procedure by which you can explain this is the iron here you can see the size of the iron is bigger when it is the five coordinated here you can see the iron size of the iron metal line is lesser because it is six coordinated so Burs was very well successful to show this model and can explain how the oxygen is bonded to the lungs in the, in the lungs capillary with blood and uh, means hemoglobin and how it will be deoxygenated when it is reaching to the uh, muscles so but just is this model with the help of this model we are in a position to explain how the o2 molecule is reaching in the porphyrin uh, where the iron at the center and which is one molecule is totally attached to the sixth position the fifth position and sixth position is vacant if we will see the what is the cause here as I, as I was talking that there is a 92 picometer and there is a 75 picometer means the cavity size is a smaller and this iron metal ion on the top and here because it's the fiber it is for this unpaired electron here is a pair total so what is this is the iron 2 simple when we will see the low spin and high spin state of metal in plus 2 and fully and uh, you can say this is uh, you have the 6 here you have the 6 once it will be converted to plus 3 oxidation state then it will be 5 simply you can understand when we will take as means low spin and high spin complex definitely there is a change in the ionic radii so here you can say this is the low spin and here you have a high spin and we are having two different radii 92 and 95 to verify the question arises that what is the state when this oxygen bind to him so him is having just simply you can say this is the simple iron 2 electronic configuration where is a we have to explain on the basis of these two mechanism here we have six uh, electron and one set says that it will be spin paired another you can say when it will be plus three then it will be plus uh, one, one unpaired electron so what is that here to explain some time what is happening just when we have this oxidation stain and bind to oxygen here we have the two mechanism to, to, to discuss and to give the explanation regarding the what will be the oxidation state what type of nature of this molecule according to the Pauling and B's and this is a, a mechanism from the scam books and here you can, I, I am thankful uh, means I acknowledge 
that bionogen chemistry by came. Here you can see this is the position. Here we can very easily say the Weiss mechanism says that one unpaired electron will be uh, uh, interact with the uh, with the oxygen which is having unpaired electron. So it gives the diamagnetic characteristics, or you can say there is a pair a spin pairing. You can say in other words. So it, it, on the basis of this, we can explain that how this oxygen is uh, binding to the central metal line and how it will be released when it will be reached to the muscle system. This is a oxygen transport system and we have explained with the help of this course. Thank you very much for it.